So hello there. If ever you're thinking about growing your own edible insects, I give you some ideas what options you have. You can do that at home with an aerarium. You can do it outside on a net bag over a shrub of a photo plant. Or you can do it in a greenhouse, like you see here in, in the back. Um, this is a normal plastic greenhouse on a base two to three meters and I put a plastic foil on the bottom as you see here that's the thing you use if you're building a pond in your garden so this is easy to clean if somebody falls to the ground you just put it away like this and you don't have to close it down to the ground because then it's easier to clean inside Normally they have uh, two zippers for the entrance <laughs> and they have different advantages. First, um, they let the light through so you can have some, uh, some light in here. That's important for the insects because they want to synchronize with the, uh, the day and night time. And also it covers a little bit away the wind so it's not going to blow through the whole uh, thing and it keeps up the worms at night a little bit in here but that's an easy construction I have some of these plastic container boxes just to put the insects in and now here you see one of the boxes with the caterpillars of Salmia Rizzini. That's our famous edible insect. It comes originally from uh, Thailand. When they change from this white here, this whitish color to this slightly yellow, then you know that they prepare for making a cocoon. As you can see here in this box, we have a lot of them waiting to build a cocoon. Some are a little smaller others a little bit bigger and the system is that you put a paper on the bottom of the box so that if you have two storage shelf that the, that the fecal pellets of the larvas or the caterpillars on the top doesn't fall to the to the boxes into the boxes of the of the other caterpillars that are waiting down here and then another thing is that if you want to let them build the cocoons, you just put them in a cage like this. That's what we call aerarium. It's just built for, especially for breeding and rearing um, butterflies. And what they can do, that's what you see here exactly up here. You can see this is a caterpillar starting to build the cocoon now uh, here in the edge. And here on this side you see already a finished cocoon. Let's take it out so that you can see how it looks like. This is made from silk, from airy or endy silk. And you can use the silk and eat the pupa instead if you like, or if you don't want to kill it, you can let it just come out as an adult, enjoy the five to eight days this animal lives. And you can try to mate them so that they can have a next generation in here but normally of course I collect all of this and you see when you going into the cherry laurel plant that is used here as a fodder plant you see there are a lot of caterpillars sitting here and here you, see, here you see one that is already yellowish and what you see here is a drop of the fecal fluid it ejects just before emptying the gut. So th normally before starting to build a cocoon they have to empty the gut content and then they eject kind of all the material that they don't need anymore from their uh, uh, caterpillar stage. So what do I do now here? If I want to prepare a new, oh look here this is interesting too to see just if you don't feel okay, if there are too many people in a shopping center, look what happens here. 
<laughs> these are practically hundred of these caterpillars sitting on the top layer of the fodder plant here and also here you see already this is a cocoon here we can take out uh, wait I have my hand so here's that's one and here is one that was built already in the edge of the of the aerarium so we have to check this also and give them some more food later on but now I want to show you something else if I want to start a new breeding process so what do I do normally I prepare a new box by putting in a new paper I forgot it now the paper so I take out this one look here's another poop in a cocoon here so now we have already four so normally I put a layer of of a paper on the bottom white paper is good because then you also see whether there are ants in it or other things that can disturb the animals and here I have the fodder plant this is from fences that the neighbors built around their house so that you can't see through what they're doing in the garden you can be if you ask them you can cut them just with a special scissor and lay it on the on the bottom and now I show you the young ones they are over there so in this box here you can see the L3 and L4 stage of the caterpillar of some yard it's in here you see the L1 L2 and L3 and here the L4 stage so uh, four different stages they are away from, from each other so about 10 days in, in development if you want to start any of this box you just plant around 100 in a box like this these are 2, 4, 6, 8, these are around 30 then here you see a lot more of these youngsters waiting on the side that's something funny about some Aritzini. If you have them in a in a box like this and you always put some new fodder on the top, they always crawl up to the new fodder and you just have to take the uppest the uppest twigs with the uh, caterpillars so to start um, a new bigger breeding container. And also this you can keep from L1 stage until you take them out and grow them in a bigger of these plastic containers here and then that's all I put one twig on the top here I always water them before I give them to the caterpillars one reason is that I want to be sure that there's not too much dust or pesticides on the leaf and the other thing is that some ants love this cherry laurel also and if you don't wash them there are too many ants in there and this is dangerous for the small caterpillars the big ones they don't care much about this so that's it and you just put the box on the shelf here and now I show you something else why I say this is a good method to cultivate uh, your own edible insects that's a development of the Zurich University of Applied Sciences for our test cultivation of Samia Rizzini. And we thought we must have something practical that can work for people who want to grow them small scale, not to uh, in a big scale. So I'll show you how you can easily clean it. You just need some water. And because this is a, a foil, To clean it, you just you just wash down the fecal pellet from the shelf. You can also wash down the walls, and then you just with the water you can clean the whole room here very easily, and afterwards 
it's clean, but you are probably dirty if you're too near here. So, I think this is a, a simple way to be sure that there's nothing in the grow room anymore if you start a new uh, project. As you can see, there are two uh, shelf stories here. So if you can, if you have it completely filled with these grayish boxes, then you can hear about uh, 24 plastic boxes with around 100 caterpillars each. So you can grow here two and a half thousand of these uh, caterpillars. And as you see, they are really big. As a, as a L5 stage caterpillars, they are around five to six gram, and the pupas are around two, two and a half to three grams. Here's a dead one. We have to throw it away. Yeah. So that means that you can grow around five kilos of your edible insect pupas in a little greenhouse like this. And also in the winter time, of course, you can use this uh, plastic tunnel to hibernate other kinds of uh, butterflies, not Salmi aritini, because this is tropical uh, species. You have to keep it at home indoors during the winter, but that's also not a problem because the fodder plant here is an evergreen plant, also in temperate regions like, for example, Europe or North America. This is very easy to bring through the winter in two generations. And then in the summer, you have time to grow three generations in a little greenhouse like this. Yes, if you're interested in the de the more in the detail to see how they come out of the egg and all L1, L2, L3 stage, you can go to the special playlist here. There's an English playlist about cultivation of some Aritinia and also a German one if you want to learn German in the fast way. Give it a try. Thanks for watching.